Hey beautiful biscuits, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to talk about feelings that I have all the time and whenever I talk to other parents, they experience as well. Kind of what to do when, whoo, where are you guys go? You better bring her back. Baba Goo, you can't run off with her because she'll just scream. Real, real life. What to do when you're feeling really overwhelmed from the world around you. And I don't necessarily mean that Hello, my darling, as overwhelmed as a parent, but overwhelmed from news and world events and just feeling like maybe, you know, you're so much in the, um, the depths of the deep water of parenting little ones that you don't feel useful or helpful or of service in ways that you want to for the world around you. And that can be an intense feeling because, especially as parents, we want to make the world a better, more joyful, glorious place for our children to grow up in, and for our families to be in. And it can be really tricky to find that balance of realizing that our focus is on our families in this season. So we aren't doing, oh, what you look at? Just your fingers? Okay, just check it. You might yeah. hook on them. Yeah. Were you trying to steal candies? Ooh, busty. Yeah. <laughs> that our focus is on our families in this season. And so we are not, you know, necessarily out there, um, being as active as maybe people that have more of the time and are in different seasons in their lives that don't have this part. So things that I really think are helpful are I start off, and I talked about this on Instagram, I start off, oh hello my darling, <laughs> I that from the other video. Um, I start off really with asking, would you just look at your fingers? Okay, I'm just checking, I'm just checking. I got that, uh, hum up that marshmallow. Oh thing. yeah. I really start off with asking, you know, what does it mean to me to be of service? And that's different for everyone. There's no right or wrong answer. But what does it mean in your heart and your mind to be of service? Like, what would make you feel less overwhelmed with events if you could contribute to them? And for me, I know at the end of the day, my definition of being of service is to help make people happier, more joyful, to help find their joy. Hello, my darling and their happiness and learn how to spread it and share it and just have it as a fabulous part of life, right? That life is happiness and love and learning how to live that and embrace it and help nurture it in others. Oh, hello. Hello, my biscotti. How are you, biscotti? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because I feel like when you're coming from a place of overwhelm, or doom scrolling or overstimulation with the world around you. If you don't have that foundation of knowing, hey, what you know, what makes me feel of service to the world, then it's really easy to flutter about and never actually do anything that makes you feel, oh no, uh -uh, of service. <laughs> Why don't you take those away? What? To never do anything that actually makes you feel of service and go, no, 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 not her. The, that stuff. That that needs to go in the kitchen. Thank you. So once you've kind of discovered that, look at ways that you can fulfill that desire to be of help, you know, to be of service and kindness and to spread that joy. And it's different for everyone. There is no right or wrong answer. Another thing you can do is to stop consuming media. Um, I know I suffer from this, is compulsively over consuming media, is I need to... Um, I need to read everything and listen to everything and watch everything and I should be super like over informed my love why don't you hear uh, of being just really over informed and they have done study after study over what consuming contemporary news on any side of the spectrum of where you fall in consuming news does to your mental health and it makes you sound like her which is very sad <laughs> so really step back from overconsumption of media you know, I really, in the last year, especially, have tried to curate so much of what I'm consuming. You know, what I'm watching, what I'm listening to, what I'm reading. Um, and I still fall into the trap totally of like, I need to know these horrible things. Like, you don't always. Like, knowing more doesn't mean you can do more, or that you're going to be happier. Hey, you, how are you doing? We see a wild biscuit here. How's my wild biscuit? Do you think you live a happy life full of service? Yeah, I think you do. So those are two ways that I find immensely helpful when we're feeling all of these mixed emotions, some of them, of, of the world around us. Because it is 
<laughs> strange times on earth. Um, and I think it's really important for us to feel like we are healthy and the world be more joyful and bright and peaceful. And having that center of calm and happiness as parents is very contagious to our families and really important, I think, to our families. So, you know, look at and take the time to ask yourself what that means and then to act on it, to see what little things, even though you're in a really busy season of life, you can do. And it might be something you're already doing and you realize you're already being of service and helping in ways that are so much more productive than just oversaturating yourself and really negative people. Okay, biscuits, I was gonna do a third thing, but I don't think that's going to work. Exhibit, exhibit A. <laughs> I will see you over in the next video. I'm gonna talk about this um, all week long over on Instagram because I just feel like the amount of messages I get from moms and dads about this feeling that we all go through of just when we are bogged down and just waterlogged in negativity and overwhelm what we can do to be more joyful and to help others be happier and more at peace. Yes, my love. Alrighty, we say we will see you next time. Oh yes, we'll see you over on the gram. We'll see you. oh, I started a TikTok. I haven't posted very much yet, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try out the TikTok. I don't know how I feel about TikTok yet because I already do the Instagram, but I kept getting requests to do a TikTok, so I was like, well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a try, we shall see. Um, basically, it's probably just gonna be like children jumping at my head while I try to film TikToks. Who knows? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, Biscuits. Thank you for being a part of the Wholesome Feed family. You can always scroll on down in the description box and grab one of my romance novels that I write. That's my day gig. I love writing my romance novels. And when you buy one, you are supporting this channel for all the free content I put out here. And I will see you in the next video.